in this video i'm going to cover two things so the first section will cover why what and how to use set state and the second part will be the best practices of using set state the advantages disadvantages and stuff so if you already know how to use set state you can just skip to the uh, next section so let's move on to the video okay uh i already have a basic template of the code my main dot dot file from the home i'm calling my home widget this home widget is just empty for now so what we are going to do is we are going to create a counter application so when we click a button the number should get updated so generally if you uh, use stateless widget uh, so generally if you're starting with flutter now you would have seen that you just you have just built widgets which stay around like that they don't update over the screen so now when we want to perform some action and perform the updation of values in the screen then this is where set state comes in right so let's just create a simple uh, ui let's create a material button and uh, in the child let's give a text plus one and let's give it a color let's give it a blue color right okay let's bring it to center all right so it is okay uh, we, we 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 will not focus on alignment for now uh, above that we'll have to give a text so now i'm just giving a random uh, dynamic text right okay so now what we'll have to do is so our goal was to whenever we press this button this number should get updated right so we'll just create a variable here and num initial will be zero and this text should print num so whenever we press this button the number value should be increased by one So now if we reload this and if we press button, the number doesn't get updated. This is because whenever you want to update a value or pixel on the screen, you have to pass it in the set state widget. And to use set state, you have to create a state full class. So generally there are two types of classes in Flutter. Please note it down if you don't know this already. Set stateless and state full. So for stateless, you'll just type stl and you get this options flutter stateless widget this will give you a template for stateful so there is another option here flutter stateful widget you just click on this you get a different type of template which we use to update values in the screen so now i have already created a stateless widget so how to convert this so if you're using vs code you can just click on this uh, bulb looking icon and it will ask you if you want to convert it to stateful widget you can just convert it and we we, we hit uh, and we get our stateful widget right okay so now whenever we want to update this number we'll have to pass that number in uh, state set state so what i'll do is i'll just type yes yes and it will give me the template of the code i'll just press it and I'll put this code num is equal to num plus one, the value which I'm updating inside set state. So now if I give hot restart, let's restart the application. And if I start to build this, so now the value gets updated. All right. So now there's one thing to note. Whenever you use set state, whenever the set state is called, the entire application is rendered. The entire application is rebuilt of the, in this class. I'll show you that with an example. Now, now I have given this int num is equal to zero outside our build method, right? So what I'll do now is I'll just give it inside build method and I'll hot reload it and we'll see. So you can see whenever I pr press plus one, the number stays zero because whenever this set state is called, this entire build function is executed from the start because this entire screen will be re-updated so i'll just put this back and i'll just show you with printing okay 
okay so i'm giving a print statement inside this build okay. all right so you can see now whenever i press this button this this entire class is being rebuilt so entire code is being uh uh, executed from start again just because I want to change one number now imagine in a real world application in a production level application you will have multiple values which you need to be updated in all the corner of the screen and that will become a performance issue so to solve that issue to solve to fix uh, to stop rebuilding of the entire screen there are multiple options for you one is using a state management technique provider block stream sorry uh, uh, get x river pod so there are multiple uh, multiple uh, state management options so if you're starting if you're getting started with it uh, i have made a video on provider check it out it will be helpful for you but there is a better alternative a workaround over this it, it will not be uh, as helpful as provider but it is just a workaround for this application so here what we'll do is we'll just build a widget on top let's give it a height of 500 width of infinity and let's give it a color of red so we have a widget on top let's change the size to 200 and below the button we will give another widget let's give it a green color so let's assume there are some widgets on top and there are some widgets in the bottom so what happens is when i press this button this entire red widget is also being rebuilt unnecessarily and the entire green widget is also being rebuilt unnecessarily so to avoid this the workaround is we can just split the widgets we'll just split the code all right so what i'll do is i'll just uh I'll just create a stateful widget and I'll name this widget counter and to this we'll just pass we'll, I'll create a column here and to this column I'll pass my text and material button here and I'll put this uh, initialization of num inside this counter widget now you can change this home screen to stateful widget it won't be uh, affecting your code and now what i'll do is between this two okay i'll just show you hot reload it and i'll show you the difference so now the uh, counter part has been gone so now to bring back this counter part i'll just use this counter widget here which is a reference to the class which we created and now you can see that the ui looks the same but the functionality will be different so here we are rebuilding our home code right and let's print this and see if the counter is being rebuilt or the home is being rebuilt so what we did is we just split the code and i and i am checking which code is being rebuilt okay hot re hot restart and we'll check so now just keep your eye in the terminal and whenever i press this button you can see that only the counter class is being rebuilt not the entire class so so this saves the so this is a workaround of the on the performance issue if you're using just set state so try to split the code as much as possible and if you have bigger applications obviously you can go with provider or block so this was a simple video on set state i hope uh, you're able to understand and see you in the next one